remove that limb just in time for another round of wet weather in the Carolinas. You can see a lot of rain moving through the Carolinas on the first Warren Doppler radar this evening after Tropical Depression Bertha hit the Carolina coast late this morning. Let's check in now with Brad. Brad, this is just the start of a rainy few days for us. Yeah, this thing's moving through pretty quickly. Today will be the worst day of the week. The next couple of days, they'll be more scattered. You'll have probably 80, 90% of the day dry. So today's the worst. If you can make it through today, trust me, better weather ahead. 72 and 68. So while that afternoon high was well below average, the morning low more than made up for it. So far at the airport, about three tenths, but we're now pushing closer to a half an inch in a lot of locations. And some locations will be over an inch and a half here before too long because the heavy rain man is literally right on top of us. There's the heavy rain over Charlotte stretching back to the west. This is starting to push west more and more. It's now moving into parts of upper uh, Burke County as well as parts of Lenore, uh, Lenore up into Caldwell County. And eventually this is going to move up into the mountains. So it looks like the heavier rain bands are pushing to the north and west pretty quickly. So heads up in the mountains. You've been dry most of the day. The rain is heading right at you and some of that upslope is going to enhance those rainfall totals. Dry air coming in from the southeast should help us out here as this not only is moving north, but dry air is trying to wrap around the bottom side of it. We call that the dry slot coming in here. So, so far, most areas now approaching an inch in Charlotte, almost an inch and a half in Union County, two inch amounts coming in from parts of Lancaster, Chesterfield, out towards the Rockingham area. You can see how quickly this moves in and moves out. You see the heavy rain moving up towards Boone, a blowing rock up into Jefferson around nine o'clock. But notice we start to dry out. So, I'm still um, I was not really optimistic that we'd get the race in tonight, but there's a small window after nine o'clock. If we can never dry that track and we can race late into the night, we might get some racing in out of the speedway. Here's a look at this system. I went back the last 48 hours. It was essentially nothing but a tropical low we were watching overnight. It moved over the Gulf waters and spun up a very small circulation just about a half hour before it made landfall. Then it moved inland and the impacts were pretty much the same. So overall, the impacts were what we expected. Look at some of these totals though already today uh, approaching two inches. Now a small severe weather threat to the east, so that risk is very small. Tomorrow, afternoon heating, because we actually could see some sunshine for a good chunk of the day tomorrow, even on Friday, that that would induce some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Just to show you, look at all that sunshine, mid to late afternoon tomorrow. So it'll be hot, kind of sticky out there. Any storms that develop, they'll be scattered, but they could be strong to severe. Same story Friday afternoon and evening. So uh, lower rain chances, but the threat for a heavy downpour is still possible or a severe storm. Same story on Saturday. These are these afternoon and evening storms, which will have some tropical moisture to work with. So don't be surprised if we get some uh, localized flooding. Now, as we go into Friday, here comes the cold front. You can see it approaching from the north and west. Gets here on Saturday. I think it gets through here late in the day. And by Sunday and Monday, we're going to see beautiful weather. So the rain chances 50% tomorrow, 40 on Friday and Saturday. But by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, first time in a long time, we have a nice stretch of dry weather. It's also going to feel pretty nice, especially after the last seven days where we've had, you know, almost four or five inches of rain in some spots, a few spots in the mountains, a foot of rain in the last seven days. Tonight, showers will end after midnight. Temperatures in the mid 60s. As we look ahead to the weekend, those temperatures take a little bit of a dip as we see that cooler air move in Sunday and Monday.